Hi all, my name is Ali and welcome to this presentation. In this demo, I will present Intent Driven Run Automation, a use case of MXAI, which stands for uh, Multi-X Automation and Intelligence uh, developed within the Bubble Run ecosystem. This slide shows the high-level architecture of the demo. First, I will deploy an end-to-end -end 5G network, which includes 5G core, G node B, and uh, two UEs and near real-time rig. Two UEs uh, have different use cases. One is streaming YouTube in 4K, and the other is for using VPN. So we are dealing with uh, two different service requirements in the same G node B. As you can see in this demo, I'm going to use AutoRun, a pair of intelligent XML R app. Let's start with the AutoRun R app. Uh, this R app powered, is powered by LLM. Uh, and it is developed on top of the Bubble Run's RF SDK software development kit and ADK, agent development kit. Uh, and it uses large language models to understand operator intents, such as service uh, guarantees or optimization goals, and translates them into actionable policy. Basically, it abstracts complex network configuration into simple uh, intent-driven and human-readable requests. And it reduces operational complexity and uh, decision-making process. It also provides intelligent recommendations by analyzing service needs, available resources, and uh, real-time data collected from the network. For instance, you can see one uh, intent could be create a slice optimized for watching YouTube in 4K. On the other, on the other side, we have the AutoRun X app built using X app SDK. It, it performs uh, adaptive slice provisioning based on the KPIs and real-time network conditions to maintain service quality and reach the target uh, goal. This slide uh, details the end-to-end -end automation follow, starting from an operator by expressing uh, intent to adjustment of actual adjustment of RAN parameters with minimal uh, manual intervention. The process starts with the operator by expressing an intent, such as I need a, a slice optimized for uh, watching YouTube or VPN, for instance. Uh, the R app performs uh, brainstorming with the user and after analyzing the intent and finding a policy goal, it generates policy requests and sends, sends it to the non-real-time RIC via R1 interface. Once non-real-time RIC receives the policy, it validates and then finds uh, the target. And if the appropriate XAP uh, is not already deployed, the non-real-time RIC triggers a request to management entities in the SMO to deploy the XAP. And then it sends the policy via A1 interface to the near real-time RIC and AutoRun XAP. After that, uh, AutoRun XAP sends RC requests, run control requests, and KPM subscription requests to the G node B. And after that, we have a control loop between XAP and uh, G node B. Uh, actually, uh, G node B periodically send KPM indication message to the AutoRun, and uh, AutoRun, based on uh, these KPIs, uh, can change slice parameters like PRB if it is needed via RC request. We also implement a robust observability loop. Uh, this loop continuously monitors real-time and runtime data. Data is collected and stored uh, in multi-level databases, ensuring pool traceability and uh, visibility. And feedback can be used uh, to refine intents and policy over time. Now let's have a live demonstration. Let's start by checking the current state of the cluster using BRC observe command. So as expected, there is nothing in the cluster at the moment. No elements, no UEs, no run, no X app, no policy. Now I'm going to deploy an n 25 g network using BRC install network, network configuration file. Now we can see uh, that some elements and network function are coming up. So the network is being deployed. Next, I will start AutoRun R app powered by LLM. So now I'm going to send the traffic for just 10 seconds for both UE. Yes, for the YouTube UE and for VPN. As you can see, they have same throughput. Now I'm going to create a slice by sending an intent to agent. 
as you can see, the, uh, the agent returns uh, recommended values for guaranteed throughput and maximum throughput in downlink. And uh, for 60 megabit per second and 80 megabit per second, so I confirm it with yes. So the policy has been enforced. Uh, we guaranteed downlink throughput and maximum downlink throughput. So you can see uh, one XR uh, is deployed, uh, this one. And one policy is being deployed. Uh, let's see uh, the XAP log to see what is happening. Yes. So you can see you can see uh, run control request, RC request, and uh, subscription request, and a slice with SSD one and SD one is being monitored now. Now I'm going here to create another slice with the agent for the VPN use case. So a new policy has been enforced. And here you can see another policy is added. And policy is received in the X app. And X app is start monitoring uh, the second slide. Now I'm going to send traffic in downlink for both UE. As you can see, VPN UE has uh, around 20 megabit per second and uh, YouTube around uh, 70 megabit per second. We can verify it via Grafana dashboard. It's around 20 megabit per second, 70 megabit per second. Now I'm going to change the Bob runs VPN slice to 10 megabit per second. So policy is enforced and now we can verify it via Grafana dashboard. And also here we can see Yes, yeah, in the XA, the policy is received. So now I'm going to show you how we, how we can create and change the policy via Overlands RFSDK software development kit. So basically, uh, with the Overlands RFSDK, you need to initialize A1 services because in this case, we want to send A1 policy and uh, we want to change the VPN slice. The policy name is VPN to 30 megabit per second. Here, uh, we can apply the policy and then we can retrieve it and print it in YAMP format. This is a sample RF SDK. So, as you can see, policy is received in the X app and we can verify it via Grafana dashboard. And now I'm going to ask the agent about the current state of the VPN slice. So as you can see, although I didn't uh, enforce, uh, I didn't change uh, the VPN slice via agent, but agent agent said, okay, this is uh, this policy is around 30 megabit per second because agent is continuously watching the current state of the network and the data collected from the network. So basically, auto run or app and Asia is aware about the status of the network. Thanks for your time and attention.